Hey, what's going on everybody? This is Josh over here at American AF Dumpsters. I am currently in my office and I thought I would do a quick video of uh, some questions that I've been getting. Um, and number one, I mean, I already kind of featured uh, Docket or YourDocket.com uh, as a software that I use. Um, it's really hard for me to go in here and kind of show you the features without actually showing you some of my customers' personal information. So. Um, I am not going to be able to show you uh, very much, but what I am going to show you is I'm going to go through a example of a new reservation or a new booking uh, of one of the dumpsters and kind of show you how that works. And then I'm also going to go ahead and show you uh, the other question I've been getting a lot lately is going to be um, the type of contract or what kind of agreement do I have the customer sign. So when I take a new reservation in your docket, um, let's go ahead and get started. And it's going to show um, a list of things that you can do. You can add a client, create an estimate, schedule a job, send an invoice, invite an employee, add a cost template, or track your dumpsters. Um, if somebody calls and they said they would like an estimate um, and they're not sure if they want to book right then and there, well, then obviously that's where your create an estimate would come in. Um, if somebody calls and I give them the price over the phone and they want to go ahead and schedule it or book it, um, we would go in and obviously schedule a job. So... Um, again, I'm not a hundred percent. I mean, I, there's a lot of features in this software that I haven't tested out, or and I haven't even I don't even know about. Um, mainly because I didn't do the one-on-one um, -on -one with your docket. They did call me, but at the time I, I wasn't a um, hundred percent sure I was going to go with them, and I just did a free trial just to see how it would work out. So in the description below, guys, is going to be a free trial offer that links to me as well, um, and I believe I get like a $25 credit if you end up using the system. So, um, you know, every little bit helps, uh, and it applies towards my bill. So uh, if you want to use this system, please go ahead and use that link below, and uh, and then we can both get, you get 14, or I believe 30 days, something like that, a free credit, uh, a free trial. Um, so it, I think it doubles your trial. Uh, don't quote me on this, but I believe so. And then I get, you know, if you end up using it for more than, I believe, 30 days or something like that, then I get a $25 credit on my bill. But, so we're going to go ahead and uh, schedule a job. Uh, I'm going to have to blur that out. But, uh, so on the right side here is who is the job for. And I'm going to go ahead and put uh, test, test. And then you can keep company blank. If it's a contractor, then that's where you would add the company's name. Um, we're going to keep it blank. The street address is going to be 1234 Main Street. I don't know what address that is, but we'll see if there is one like that. Dallas, Texas. And I don't know zip code. Normally it does pull up a... Uh, one, two, three, four. We're going to uh, skip that, skip the contact. We're going to skip the card on file. So when I send this customer this invoice, um, uh, and I'll show you how to do that here in a minute, it'll allow them to add their own credit card. So what I do is I don't even take the credit card over the phone. Um, customer wants to book it. I tell them, hey, um, okay, so I've got you down, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to send you an invoice. Uh, via email, um, you can go on there and apply your deposit, enter in your credit card information, and sign the agreement for us. Um, and then once that's that's done, that will confirm your reservation or your booking or your dumpster. So um, that's kind of how we do that. So we're gonna go ahead and skip the card on file. Let them enter it again. Uh, description is gonna be dumpster rental for residents. Plain and simple. We're going to schedule a date of uh, December 25th, Christmas Day. It does not repeat, and I'm going to do it for two days. You don't have to uh, add a team member, but I usually do. And then any additional notes, uh, we're going to go ahead and close that out. We're going to add the job. So it listed in here as a job. So job created here on the top right, and the client was created as well in the system. And then sometimes it'll take you right into invoice again. Um, mine still. Then go into the client. 
Okay, we're going to go into the client and we're going to add a invoice. So this is the invoice that I'll send the customer once I add them into the system. Um, my invoice automatically adds 8.25% tax as well as a 4% convenience fee. Uh, this can all be uh, edited. Uh, you can change this, apply it, or, dis or uncheck it if you don't want to. Um, if they're going to pay cash, I don't charge them a convenience fee. Convenience fee covers my Stripe fees. So additional com options. I have the signature required on the invoice to make sure that they sign the agreement. Um, and here we go, add lines. So I said this was a two-day, so let's go ahead with a 20-yard dumpster. Two-day rate is 300 we're going to add that to the system. It's going to be a total of 337 including tax and convenience fee. Automatically does that for me. Um, terms is where it adds my agreement that I have in here. I have it set up to put my agreement in there and it highlights all the really important stuff. Obviously the price, the weight limit, um, any, they get up to two tons. Any additional is going to be $45 a ton. Placement of the dumpster. They have to sign this um, so they have to see this, they sign it, and they are uh, responsible for it, right? So, um, and the way I have it set up is, let me move this recording to the side here. The way I have it set up is, um, you know, it, it takes out my expenses uh, and shows shows me what my profit is. So um, it shows that I had $242 profit on this job out of a three hundred thirty seven dollars and seventy four cent uh, reservation so you put in your costs okay um, you put in your costs, your hard costs your labor whatever you want to put in there I have it set up with you know a little bit different for myself um, so which it shows two hundred forty two dollars profit on a two-day rental okay so you can go ahead your automation is basically upon creating the invoice it's automatically have it set up to share the invoice which means it'll send it to the customer and it's going to create a dumpster task for me. So basically, it'll tell me that um, the dumpster is created for whatever day I have set up here. Okay. So it sets up the dumpster for me, the task. And I'll show you what that means here in a little bit. Okay. So here we go. So it created the invoice, 337.74. And then it creates a task. The task goes to my calendar down here. So basically on December 25th, my one task is going to be to drop off. So it sends me to the next page as a drop off. So it tells me a 20 yard drop off. It's going to be a two day rental drop off date. And I can put in here scheduled pickup date. So it's going to be two days. So it's going to be uh, the 27th as a pickup date. So drop off will be the 25th. Pickup date will be. 27th. You can set a priority, low, medium, high. I leave that blank. Pick a priority, drop off priority. You can put in here what landfills you want it to go to, and uh, and then your driver or yourself will have an app. You'll have the docket app. So basically, that day on the app, you can go to your reservate your your tasks, um, and it'll tell you in order what tasks you need to do. It'll also you can put that you're on the way to the task. You can um, which will automatically send a text message and or email however you have it set up to your customer um, letting them know that you're on the way when you arrive you put in your arrive that way the dispatcher at your office depending on how big your company is or once you get to that point the dispatcher will know uh, where you're at what you're doing at all times and then where you're going after that so um, and then when you're done you can attach what I do is I usually um, take a picture of the dumpster at the, at, at the location on how I left it and then I'll upload those pictures into the task on the app um, so that there's proof in case anything happens uh, that I left a dumpster there and how it was left. Um, no question about it. The customer, right, um, gets the invoice via email. The customer also gets a login to a dashboard and in the dashboard they can they can communicate with your company and they can say I need the dumpster for a longer period of time. Um, you know the dumpster is ready for pickup. They can communicate you know they can pay for more days um, it's pretty um, in-depth and it's all based on the settings that you set up in your system so I, I really do recommend this software um, um, but anyways I have it set up for two days again it tells you where the landfill is it tells the customer that they're given an allowance of up to two tons anything additional 
is $45. Again, has set up by me. Any additional days is $25. Any additional notes and then the billing. Okay. If your um, customer has a project name uh, for, if it's a contractor, you can put it in here. Order number, appeal to order number, you can put it in here as well. Um, so we're going to go ahead and add this task. Okay. So what it did in the calendar the first time is it basically told me that that dumpster is not available between those days, and I'm going to have to go in here and change it to three days. One, two, one, two. Technically, it's 48 hours, but um, anyways. So it'll show me that the dumpster is not available, and then it'll say um, I have one task on Friday. I have another task on Sunday. So on Friday, I'll log, uh, on Friday I log into the app, and I'll see that I'll have a task to do for that day. Um, and the same on Sunday. And if I had multiple bookings or multiple dumpsters going out, you know, I would have multiple tasks um, to do that day. The system is, um, I mean, I, like I said, I, I have nothing bad to say about it. It is a little, uh, it may be a little complicated at first, but you keep messing with it and eventually it, uh, it becomes easier and easier. Or, you know, you do like most people and you do the one-on-one -on -one with, with their company and I'm sure you can learn a lot and I just haven't yet. But, Anyways, there's that. And again, the customer just received the email. Um, and I, if I would have done a, a, I should have done an email, but the customer receives the email. Anyways, and again, the customer receives the email. And in the email, it will allow them to view the invoice, pay the invoice, pay a partial invoice. If they want to pay $50 towards the invoice, they can do that. Um, if they want to pay it in full, they can do that as well. It will require their signature, and you will receive their signature on the terms and agreements and uh, on your paperwork. So if you ever have a dispute or uh, with a credit card company or anything like that, or you can say, hey, ma'am, you signed, ma'am or sir, you signed the agreement. This is where it says this. Um, you have that um, safeguard for your company, uh, just kind of a CYA. So um, like I said, it, it works pretty cool. Uh, again, the dashboard, they can go in there, and I've had a customer go in there and request multiple pickups, and, um, you know, it automatically charged them based on my settings, or, you know, they were able to pay for it without it, uh, without me having to even do, lift a finger. All I saw, I got a notification that it was paid, a pickup, and a, a request for a pickup, uh, and, and a drop-off. So, um, works great. Works great, guys. So, there's your docket. Remember, the link to the um, to your docket you can get 14 either 14 or 30 day trial uh, on your docket through my link um, and then uh, and, and try it out try it out see what you think so here's the agreement my dumpster rental agreement um, I will create a link for this and I will leave it in the sub description below I don't mind sharing it uh, I know a lot of people have asked just keep in mind, I am no lawyer. Um, I do not give any legal advice that this contract is good or this agreement is going to be good for you, uh, but it works for me, and as of now, I haven't had any issues. Um, I believe I did find this part of this agreement online. I added a lot of it to myself to apply towards the dumpster rentals versus just a regular dumpster. So, um, so yeah, there's that. I've got the... Um, just uh, where you fill in the date and time, or the date and the, the, the names and the properties. The address um, goes over the equipment rental. Basically, they are renting the, pro the, the equipment from us. It uh, goes over the pricing and, and then whatever you wanted to write in there. So it depends on how busy we are, what vehicle it is, or what uh, dumpster it is. I will add, um, sometimes I make it a $25 a day additional rentals, or sometimes if I don't want them to rent it for additional days because I have another rental. Going out, I'll make it a $50 additional a day uh, uh, rental. Weight limit, 45 tons. $45 for two tons, or more than two tons, I should say. So the weight limit, they get uh, up to two tons. And then after that, it's $45 additional. Uh, placement of the dumpster, they tell us where we they place the dumpster. We are not responsible for any... Um, damage to any uh, roads, m material, lawns, fences, shrubbery. We completely uh, made ourselves not liable for any damages uh, based on where they want the dumpster or the dumpster trailer to be parked at. Um, they have to let us give us access to the dumpster trailer at the time of pickup. If they don't, then I am charging $99 a day. 
uh, to have to go back out and pick it up the next day. Uh, it does say that the customer is fully responsible for the entire contents of the container. Um, no hazardous or unacceptable materials. And it goes over uh, a list of uh, unacceptable materials such as paint, uh, hazardous equipment, hazardous materials, etc., batteries. Uh, debris may not extend above the top rim of the dumpster. I do let them sometimes go a little bit above that. It's just I have to build it in here in case they do it without my permission. Trailers must not be moved at all by the customer. As a matter of fact, I'm going to go ahead and highlight this uh, so that they know it's important. Okay. Uh, rental fee includes one dump. If multiple dumps are needed, customer must call the company an additional fee of 225. Consequences of violating regulations. Uh, there's goes over some consequences, permits and approvals. We are not responsible for pulling any permits for the customer. If they require any permits for any reason, uh, that's on them. Uh, they hold us, uh, they agree to indemnify and hold us harmless. Uh, goes over entire agreement, some, some legal mumbo jumbo. Uh, and basically they sign, we sign. It's that simple. Um, again, if you decide to use this, just make sure you take our company name off of this um, and make sure you tailor it for your company needs. Um, I have no problem with that. And finally, I also have a checklist that I go over with the customer at the time of drop off. If they're there, if not, no big deal. They've already agreed to it. But I do sign this, I do fill this out for every single dumpster that I drop off so that I have a record, uh, a paper trail of exactly what uh, what the dumpster is where and what date and time I'm supposed to go back and pick it up. Um, but it's a checklist. I put in their full name, the address of the rental, telephone number, number of days that they rented it for, the date and time of the drop off, then the scheduled pickup time. I don't commit to a certain time to pick it up. Usually, if I drop it off at 4 p.m. for a 24-hour rental, I will tell the customer I will drop it off sometime after 4 p.m. the following day. Um, that way, if um, you know I'm held up at the dump or anything, um, I can I, I I don't have to be somewhere at a specific time uh, to pick it back up. 99.9% um, .9 of that them are okay with something like that. Um, Again, and then just reiterate some of our policies. Don't move the don't move the trailer. It must remain where it's parked. If you move, uh, we must be contacted, and we have to go out there to move it for them, and we'll charge a dry run of up to seventy five dollars. So basically, if I have to go just to move it because you parked in the vehicle that you need out of a garage or whatever it may be, uh, we'll definitely go out there and move it. But uh, we're going to charge them seventy five dollars just to move it, just to go out there. No hazardous materials. Please don't fill the top of the dumpster. Again, a lot of stuff that was already in agreement, but we just go over it again. The tonnage allowance, um, skid and pallet back when I was doing the cargo tra trailers. Uh, it says that the customer is responsible for the dumpster during the rental. Any damages customer and or customer's insurance is liable, including any loss of revenue and replacement value. Dumpster may not must be unobstructed at the time of pickup and in any additional dumps. I go over that as well. So, this um, this is basically my agreement, my checklist, and my um, system in yourdocket.com. Um, again, don't forget that link is on the bottom of the subscription. Um, also, don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel. I am going to be doing a little more in-depth videos on Fiverr and some of the other softwares that I, I did in my previous video, and I'm going to link that right up here of the softwares that I currently use in my dumpster rental business. So just make sure you like, you subscribe to this channel, and um, I will be, yeah, we'll be back uh, next couple days with another video. We'll see you guys around.